Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting some pansies uh, and some snapdragons, actually, uh, in this bed space uh, that I created in a video uh, yesterday. Uh, I'll link that video up here in the corner. If you're watching on YouTube, you can go back and watch that video. I basically just put down a, um, a thick layer of uh, composted or aged pine fines which is just pine bark uh, from a pine tree, and then it's blended with some compost. And it's about three parts uh, pine fines and about one part uh, compost. I find uh, you know pansies really don't like the native soil all that much. They don't perform particularly well in it. Uh, they like this um, the the you know this pine bark drains really well. It's also um, it's it's also has a very low pH and pansies actually like um, acid soil so that's an important component of it if you're growing pansies in containers you want to use a peat moss mix um, peat moss is uh, also has a very low pH and it's also good for them but I put down four or five inches of this material uh, in that video if you want to go back and uh, look at that I've also got a couple other pansy planting videos on my channel from from previous years uh, at another house if you want to take a look at that. So I have a tray of uh, yellow snapdragons. It's kind of a kind of a light yellow uh, color. And then I've got some bright yellow pansies. And I've got a mix of pansies, this matrix mix that has uh, blues and yellows and reds and whites blended in. I'm gonna blend these yellows into that just to make it more yellow than it currently is. And so that's my plan. Snapdragons will go toward the middle of this bed. And then on this side of it and the other side of it uh, will be this pansy mix. And I think it should look terrific. Uh, I, one thing about planting pansies this time of year is I want the soil temperature to be somewhere around 65 degrees or lower. That's kind of ideal for pansies. Soil temperature's not there yet. It's still a little bit warm at this point. Um, it's a right around 70, but the next three of the next four nights are in the 40s in my area. So I think that should drive down pretty quickly. Uh, if you're in areas further south than me, you probably want to wait a little while longer. You can get a super inexpensive uh, soil thermometer. Um, stick it down in the ground, you know, five or six inches. Um, should go in there pretty easily and uh, just check the soil temperature. And once it gets down, anything below 70, as long as it's trending down, should be fine. But uh, pansies ideally would like a soil between 45 and 65 degrees. So ultimately, I'd like uh, all of these between five and six inches apart. And since I'm blending these pansies together, I'll just take these uh, individual cell packs. These are all four packs right here. And I'll just distribute them uh, around where the pansies are going to go. And I'll just blend the, uh, the mixes into that space. I need to get uh, six of these cell packs, so these yellows on this side, blended in, and uh, six on the other side. Over there. And then so I need six of these. Actually, these are these are different. These are in six packs. The other ones were in four packs. So I need three of these six packs over here. And I'll put three of these six packs over here. Uh, and then I'll just start laying these out, you know, five or six inches, five or six inches apart. Uh, and just put the, uh, just kind of, just kind of be as random as I can possibly be with them uh, while I uh, but it's pretty straight pretty straightforward just be easy taking these out they're uh, very very breakable um, pansies tend to stretch a lot especially when they're growing this close together and that stretching will make them kind of fragile um, and again, I'm just going to go every other, every other pack. I did a pack of yellow, then I did a pack of mix. So I have this trowel that I can use right here. It's a Corona trowel. It's got the, uh, the little cutter on the side of it. This is my preferred trowel. If I were planting these and this wasn't this loose soil, um, I will use this trial, I'll stick it in and pull it back like that and then drop it in and then pinch it in place. Okay, uh, this soil's so loose, I don't really need to do that. But again, it's down with the trial, pull it towards you, drop the pansy in, 
and then pinch it in place like that quick and easy again this soil so loose i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put these in quickly i can dig literally with my pointer finger So behind the pansies, same thing. I'm just gonna use the, uh, the Snapdragons are in uh, four packs. And so I'm gonna put uh, four of the four packs on this side and four of the four packs uh, slightly over here. I'm leaving a middle section right here that's gonna be tulips. And I'm gonna try to find some uh, like bright yellow um, uh, tulips. I don't remember what I ordered. My, my tulips haven't actually arrived yet. But if I don't have any bright yellow ones, that's what's going to end up going in the middle here. So I'm going to have bright yellow tulips, kind of off yellow uh, snapdragons, and then this uh, mix with mostly leaning yellow um, pansies uh, on both sides. So that's how that'll go. Literally no difference uh, on these than, than the pansies. I'm just going to dig them in with my finger because this soil's so loose. I do lay a bunch of them out first. Again, it's super sunny out here, and I don't want to uh, leave them just laying, the roots laying out here in the sun for very long. So, you know, kind of keep that, uh, that period of time as short as possible. You know, just having them laid out in the sun like this. Don't do the whole bed at one time. So this is one side of this uh, annual bed. You can see the uh, pansies there, snapdragons there gonna leave a little spot i'm gonna do that other side in just a second the only two tools i brought out here were the uh, trowel and the uh, the uh, soil thermometer and uh, i didn't even use the trowel because i had it prepped with this uh, bark and uh, and compost blend So I got this new annual bed uh, planted, uh, as you saw, uh, quick and easy, especially when I, you know, you put down four and five inches of loose soil on top. Uh, it goes, it goes pretty quickly. I've already got uh, bees uh, working the snapdragon, so you know I'm extending the season even further uh, with my pollinators. I put up a video yesterday just showing how many pollinators I still have uh, out here working these uh, other flowers I have left. Well, now they've just they've moved over to these uh, now. A couple things. Um, I'm going to water this extremely well. I do want to uh, fertilize uh, my annual flowers because you know they are heavy feeders. Veg things in your vegetable garden, things in your flower gardens. You know these things. These things feed a lot during the season. One issue though is um, here in the South we put these pansies in in the fall and they last until spring. Uh, a lot of the fertilizer products don't actually work well in the uh, in the winter time. If you'll pull out. Um, here's a couple fertilizers, doesn't matter the brand, but if you'll pull out most of the fertilizers that you have, they have ammonia cow nitrogen as the nitrogen source, or at least part of the nitrogen source. That nitrogen source doesn't work very well uh, in the winter time, if at all, when the soil temperatures uh, gets, gets low enough, it no, is no longer effective, and you need some sort of uh, nitrate, nitrogen source. I use a pansy fertilizer. Uh, I, I'm out of it. I thought I had some left from uh, last year or the year before, but I can't find it right this minute. So I just ordered some on Amazon. But I use a particular fertilizer because there are, like I say, nitrogen sources that work well in the wintertime or work at all in the wintertime and nitrogen sources that don't. So most of the fertilizers you'll find on your shelf are going to be ineffective on these in the coolest weather. The soil temperature is warm enough right now and it's warm enough outside that I could get away with using one of these for the first couple rounds. Once the soil temperature drops enough though, I need to switch to a cool season fertilizer, which that pansy, uh, the pansy fertilizer is. So that's basically it. Um, if you follow my channel, uh, subscribe to the channel, you'll see how these uh, perform during the winter. In the uh, next video here from this uh, little series, I'm gonna be putting in bulbs in this bed. I'll have some crocus going along in the front and some uh, tulips I won't plant yet. I actually have to cold treat tulips in the south here in my area, so it'll be a few weeks before they go in, as much as two months before they go in. But I'm also gonna have some other bulbs going in and some other planting jobs. And there's one more area of annuals going in up at the top that's identical to this, and you'll see that in other videos. Thanks for watching.